Uh, I feel like I don't remember the exact date, but in April, that seems about the time when the Olympics, the Olympic Games in Tokyo got postponed. Combined with getting that injury, I feel like a lot of athletes would say, okay, the big meet got canceled. I've got an injury. Let's just look towards 2021. Why did you, why were you so focused on competing in 2020 when maybe the incentive uh, to get out there wasn't as high as it would have been otherwise? So, the thinking, you know, I'm not that good in mathematics, but I was thinking, okay, if you're if you're really really lucky uh, as an athlete, you get ten years at a high level. Not many people get ten years on a high level, but if you do, one year is ten percent of your career. And I don't want to waste ten percent of my career. I want to compete as much as I can when 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 I have the chance. So that was the reason why, you know, I wanted to get back to competing as fast as I can. And for me, it's like. The most important thing is to compete, you know, it's like whatever you do in training doesn't matter as long as you don't get results. And I wanted to show that I was on a high level and, and, and get some results. And also, I think it was important for track and field to to be back and, and to show ourselves just as the other sports did, you know, and it was important to show that it is possible to arrange these meets, even though we, we live in the world. Uh, now with 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 the uh, with the coronavirus and everything, so hopefully you know they see that this is possible, and it also gives us a chance, you know, to to have a Olympics next year.